did taking a break from working on shop stuff. As you can see, I have a ton of orders for the, these are the ephemera stickers. And then these are the ephemera packs. So these don't have any adhesive on them. They're just cardstock. And then this one, obviously it's a sticker. So it has adhesive in the back. So yeah, super cute. I'll link it below in case you guys are interested, but why don't you take a break and, um, Excuse that, that was my printer. <laughs> Wanted to take a break um, and open some goodies with you guys. I ordered more things from Journal Land on Etsy. I saw they had like some new goodies. Oh my gosh, always love how she packaged everything. So I'm gonna take these off. Look at this, so cute. I always save like the little washy things that she puts on the packaging but these took about a week to arrive which isn't bad I know you know it's a personal shop and stuff so yeah I think that's still pretty good time that's super cute okay so I got a few things oh my goodness yeah it's, they had a bunch of La Dolce Vita um, products I ordered seven things yeah I'm just trying to look at my invoice to remember like what um, I ordered. Okay, so I saw this super cute like postcard. So this is like my favorite um, illustrate illustration from La Dolce Vita. Um, yeah, I use it quite a lot in my journals. I love, I love, love, love it. And like this quote, I actually even bought the rubber stamp for it because I guess I just really like it. This is what the back looks like. So I just got two postcards to possibly put in one of my journals. And then um, I got this postcard as well. Isn't that so cute? I just thought this would look really cute for, you know, a travel journal or something. I might score it in the middle and put it in my passport. We will see. I'm just going to see what the size I need it to be. And then these I saw are new. So, um, I think this is what is on the new washi that I got. So, I really love this illustration of the girl. And yeah, I just really cute. I always love La Dolce Vita, as you guys know. Such cute print-ons. Um, so I love these because I can mix it with the florals that I have in my shop. Like, okay, this isn't cut yet, but can you just imagine mixing the floral stickers with these illustration of the girls? Like, that would just be so cute. So I always love doing that in my journals and my planners. Um, yeah, that's why I love the Dolce Vita stickers and Peon stickers. By the way, I don't know if it's Peon or Peon. Let me know if you know. Um, but yeah, these are the print tones that I got. And then I got these ones as well. This is by Peon. And these are like stamps, which I thought was really cute. You guys know me. I love my stamps. I do stamp designs as well on my um, stickers. So it's just like something that I really do like. So I got that. These are... Obviously, um, print-ons or rub-on stickers, transfer stickers, rub-ons, whatever you want to call them. All the same to me. Okay, and then in this little package, I got more things. Um, I got the new La Dolce Vita. Um, what's it called? Oh, this is how you open it. <laughs> Oops. Okay. La Dolce Vita uh, washi. I got the full roll because I always get like FOMO, like I'm always scared I'm going to use it all up and then I'm really sad I don't have it, so yeah. I also got this bird rubber stamp. I'm very picky when it comes to rubber stamps because I remember a long time ago I bought a ton and it was like impulse and I barely use them so I'm very picky now when it comes to buying it because I want to make sure it's something that I will use in my journals and I really do love this cute little bird with the florals on it so yeah this is by Peon so cute and then this is the La Dolce Vita 
washi that I got. Um, let me open it and then uh, show you guys what a roll looks like. I'm pretty sure it is this one though. Like what you see here is what's on this washi roll. But let me see. I always like to be careful and I like save the seal because I think it's so cute. So let me get my scissors. Alright, I'm gonna try and get that off later because I, I, like I said, I keep them and I put them in my journal because it's just, it's really cute. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so here's one roll. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love her blush and the florals. Okay, I love this. I'm gonna be putting this um, in one of my journals like as a title page because it says diary. That's so cute. And my favorite, this is my new favorite. So I really love this illustration and this. I think there's a theme going on there. <laughs> Just so cute, right? So anyways, it says keep on keeping out what you love. And then cute little stack of books. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's another girl that looks like this that reminds me of my niece. Because <laughs> she has like black hair with the bangs. Enjoy every moment of a life inspired you are a you for a better tomorrow oh my gosh you can't read so pretty right okay i think i might actually like this more than the other one that i recently got because these actually has different um illustrations the other one had similar illustrations from the past roll that i got so this is like all new which i love that oh what does that say I cannot read that but really cute and again I'm glad that it's all different illustrations from the past rolls like these are completely different and that's it so all of that oh my gosh that was a lot and yeah I mean you can get the print-ons but even the print-ons don't have all of these because this is a lot of designs so that is that. Um, I'm not sure how much things were, but I will link the Etsy shop down below and you guys can check it out. And yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these away and pretty much continue working on orders here because I have a lot. Like as you can probably hear, the printer is going. It's like it's been constantly printing sticker sheets that I have to cut. Um, I've just finished cutting all the ephemera packs and stickers um, that needs to be shipped out. And then I already have like a stack of stickers to, to cut here. And I have way more printing. And yeah, so bye for now. Looking. Mm. Let's go eat. What food do you want? You crazy? We're getting some beef. Uh, everyone keeps calling me crazy. Ah, did I get mail that got sent to the hospital? Some people don't have my new one yet. Come on. You can bring them with you? Those letters aren't coming to the hospital anymore since the director found out. So my mom found out. I wondered if she did. Can you keep this between us? Just tell me what's going on. What is it? You really trying to leave this cushy job? I'll tell you later, huh? Look what I have. I got myself the new weeks in the spring edition because I was actually looking through my gardening sheets and they're just all over the place. I don't even have proper sheets or notebooks for it. It's just literally pieces of paper that I have jot down notes on and stuff like that and I was trying to look through my memory key because I did take photos of it too um, of like what I planted and like pr progress of them and it's just kind of hard to keep track that way so I thought it would be a good idea to have an actual planner for my gardening now I only garden, you know, from spring until pretty much right before winter time um, or towards the end of fall. So, yeah, um, 
I don't really need a full year, so I'm not sure how this is really going to go, but we will see. I was thinking, like, on the months that I'm not actually planting, like, you know, after fall time, I can just maybe jot down um, things like plants that, what's it called, that I kind of want to plant for springtime, like plan ahead and stuff like that. So not really sure how I'm going to manage this but i didn't just want a notebook i wanted um to have an actual calendar as well because then this way i can see what needs attention in that month and what i planted that month what needs to be pruned that month stuff like that so i thought that would be a lot more organized and then i wanted to do of course a weekly because then i can schedule things that way i don't know we'll see how it goes but like i said i feel like this is going to be more so for notes to definitely refer back to um yeah we'll just kind of play around with it i got this over on amazon because you guys know i actually originally ordered stuff right off of hobonichi um when they released the spring line but I skipped out on the weeks because I didn't feel like I needed it. But then, yeah, thinking through my gardening stuff, I really need, I feel like, a designated place for it. And, yeah, I think this will work. We'll see. And I feel like this is perfect because of the cover, you know. I do have a cover and cover, just a clear one, coming in, I think, today, actually. So... Yeah, I will be putting a cover on this because I do plan on taking this out with me whenever I do garden. Just so, you know, I can write notes or something like that right away too. Um, so it might get dirty. So I thought that'd be, you know, good to have a cover on it. But yeah, this is a beautiful weeks. I feel like I definitely probably would have gone with this if it was released in the fall. Because it's just so pretty now that I'm actually like touching it holding it in my hands it feels so cool like it's not fabric it's this like linen paper or something like that um it's really nice so 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 pretty and i love the color and yeah this entire line is just perfect and yeah i don't know i just really wanted the weeks i think this will make me more organized especially with the monthly pages and just like how um, I'm doing with my inks, you know, like whenever I get inks that month, I write it down in here. So I feel like this is like good for keeping track of what I planted that month and stuff like that or what I did get and whatever. So yeah, I think that will be really good kind of like to see an overview and then I can refer back to in the weekly section if I did take notes about those plants, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think this will work great. Um, I do really like the weeks. I think it has enough, if anything, a lot of pages to plan out stuff. So, yeah, I have ideas on how I'm going to organize this gardening planner. And once I do that, I will definitely share it with you guys. Um, I plan on doing that hopefully in the next week. I don't know if I have time this weekend, but... Hopefully in the next week, um, I can gather all of my plant notes and put it all in here. And yeah, it's already February 24th. And this actually does start this this week, I think. Oh no, it starts next, next week. So that's perfect. Um, so yeah, we have just a few months. Like I really... I have to look to see when the last frost will be or something like that. Um, but I'm feeling like it will be end of March or so. I'm planning um, in the next, like, these two, three weeks that I'm going to, you know, figure things out. And I do want to plant new plants as well um, in the garden. And we have other things going on as well, like we'll, we'll, bleh, like we'll building a few things here and there in our yard too, so... I'm really excited to just kind of like get that going and kind of have a plan because I don't really, I feel like I need to really put it in my planner, but there's no room in my planner. So yeah, anyways, that's that. I just wanted to share with you guys that I did ended up getting this week. So I'm really excited about it.
and I do really plan on using it and making it, you know, really functional for me. Wish me luck. If you guys know of anybody who has a gardening planner, let me know. I would love to see, like, if there's any, some type of, like, YouTube videos or even an Instagram account. I would love to see because... I have ideas, but will they work? I don't know, so it'd be good to see someone else's um, planner for gardening. I don't know. So anyways, that's that. I just thought I would share with you this beautiful planner. It's in Japanese, by the way. I don't think this one is available in English, but that's okay with me. Um, because what really matters to me is knowing the, the days. And the days are and the month are in um, English. So even here on the weekly pages, there's English. So that's really all I really care about. Um, everything else I don't mind at all. So I'm really excited. Eek, so pretty. Before I go, this is a new pen of mine and it's just so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I've been wanting this for a while, but didn't wanna spend so much money. I kept seeing it for around like $400 or $500 and I'm like no way it is a pro gear slim mini so I found a seller and it was rather cheap um but I didn't go with that because where I got this from was actually a second hand so I got this off of somebody for like half the price that I've been seeing it and I'm just like oh my goodness and I was nervous at first because you never know when you're purchasing off of somebody and it's pre-owned but when I got it it's in perfect condition and I have already inked it and I have been using it and I just I'm obsessed it has um 14k nib um, medium fine I believe it only comes in medium fine and I actually have um, a shimmer ink in this right now it's the fluttering heart from Ferris Will Press and it is just beautiful it writes really well um, yeah I love it I might put a different ink in it eventually but for now I wanted to try the shimmer ink because it's just so pretty and yeah I've been using it in my journals and it looks so pretty and Oh my gosh, look at that. So this is the April color, by the way. And um, it's Sailor in collaboration with Encora. And yeah, this is the April color. It's Diamond with Sakura. And oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I do really love the other colors from that collection. The one that's on my list right now is Citrine and June. So November and June, because November is citrine and that is the birth birth month of my husband. And I actually really love how that looks. It's also the birth month of my mom. And I really, really love the yellow in that. And then like the finial I think has pink. It's just so cute. And I don't have a yellow pen yet. So I'm really thinking of getting that next. Um, and I also really love the June pen because it's pearl and then on the top has a rose on it and the other one that I like I think it was October because it's just such a pretty pink and I actually really like August as well it's very green with like a sunflower on the top so I just love this line um, by Sailor and Ancora it's just it just looks so pretty I just want them all to be honest but yeah, those are my top next picks, but this one was definitely my number one because the white and the pink just look so good. And I really love that this is also a very, very light pink. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's a very light pink on the barrel there. It's just so cute. And I do really like um, Pro Gear Slim Minis. I have one design pink, I think it is. It's like a peachy pink, and I really do like that one. But yeah, now I have my second Pro Gear Slim Mini. I'm really, really happy with this one. This might be my, like, my new all-time favorite pen. <laughs> I just love it. It just looks so cute with everything. So anyways, just thought I would share that with you guys.